start the recording portion for the YouTube video. So that way I didn't bore the people on the YouTube side with my uh, informing them. But yes, this is the 4th of July I'm recording this. Uh, there will be a second episode being recorded afterwards. Uh, the rest of the stream will be Broforce. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, like I said, I would really like to do this. But the only problem is if I do this one, you know what? Let's go and do it. It is the 4th of July. We might as well go USAF. I, I do want to continue this. Uh, it's America. <laughs> America! So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. New game, because we haven't played it before. Uh, what? This must be the plane we're just getting. USAF Briska Airfield, Algeria. So yeah, we are in the south. I thought it looked like a desert uh, map when I saw the images of it. All right. So no, uh, no training. Hello, Galdor. Glad you could join us. We're uh, switching over to the American side for this episode. So <clears throat> you get to choose a brand new character. <laughs> so if you'd like to not be an engineer this time, you have the option of choosing your crew position. Once again, anybody who may be joining us, uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section if you'd like to be part of the crew, and you could be one of these fine ladies or gentlemen here. We can alter skin color. America, indeed. Uh, skin color, sex, hair color, eye color. But you basically get the same physical build. There's no, <laughs> no changes in that. So how about Galdor? You'd like to join the crew again? We, as you notice, we get a lot more soldiers for the Americans than we do for the British, because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we only had seven for the British crew. Because it looks like we got an extra two gunners. Because he only had two gunners and a bomber. Now we got th uh, four gunners and a bomber, so. A lot more crew position, so that's better for a stream, in my opinion, because you get a little more choices. Anyway, while we're choosing that, and whether or not anybody wants to jump in, we'll go ahead and look at the plane real quick. Yeah, we really do need to check the frame rate. Uh, is it looking rough for you there? I'll be looking at this while you leave me some comments there. Ooh, that's a nice color. Engineer's fine? Alright. I do want Cat Bus Plane again, but we may have to change it up for this plane. We'll see how Cat Bus Plane looks for... Uh... I guess we haven't unlocked it yet, because I don't see it. Unless this plane doesn't get the same... I don't remember Spotted Cow, so... It's a little choppy? Okay. Is that something we can uh, take care of fast, or is it something we'll have to do after the episode's over? I think we'll stick with sand for now. Ooh, Memphis Bell. Except, uh, this is definitely not the Memphis Bell. <laughs> we'll take that because, you know, I don't have a paint job for otherwise. Though we could do hatch marks for uh, our plane crashes. It should not take too long. Okay. I'll just have to edit this part of the video for the YouTube one. Uh, what do you need me to do real quick? I'll go ahead and try and take care of that. And since we're going to be doing a live stream together later on, if you'd like to jump in the call and just join me for this, uh, I don't mind. We'll stick around. Yeah, we just don't have anything to put on the plane yet, so we'll just go with some standard imagery here. I like that one. I 
Uh, let's go. America! No, let's change that up a little bit. America! Ah, OBS settings, okay. You know what? Uh, you think this is uh, good enough for this episode and we should do it in between uh, this and uh, Broforce? Like, just do it then? Or do you think we should just go ahead and take care of this now? Oops. Forgot I had caps lock on. Freedom! We're bringing lots of freedom. We got 4,000 to spend, so we could do a little bit of extra. I thought I put paint on the engines. There we go. So, we got two... Oh, these are all ammo feeds. Good. So I don't have to worry about that yet. Mark one, mark two, mark three. Oh, we don't have... We only got 2,000 points. We can't even get any of that yet. And this is the classic ball turret I'm used to, so I guess this is different than the ones that the guy's going to be sitting up here in. So he's probably actually going to be sitting in the ball for this one. He's got his hatch right there. Man, these all come with ammo beats. Oh my gosh, you do not know how happy I am that we don't have to grab boxes of bullets. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, hold off on uh, doing the uh, fixing until the between stream. We're going to take a pause break before we jump over to Broforce, and we'll probably fix it then. Just to make sure things are run a little more smoothly. Look at that. Waste turrets. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy we have extra guns on this plane. So we got two back turrets. It looks like we got maybe two forward. Yeah, this is right up in the front turrets. Technically, this should be right here, not up in the very front, but it's okay. I'm willing to look over that because I guess it's, you know, not exactly copyrighted version of the planes. They all get ammo feeds. Even these guns get ammo feeds. That's so awesome. Uh, normally I'd say I'd go ahead and drop the guns in here, but uh, honestly I'd like to get the systems upgraded if I can. Anything. Extinguishers? Hmm. I, I think I would rather wait until I can afford this one, so I don't have to waste money on buying stage one, then stage two. So the equipment is probably our best bet for right now. Look at that machine gun. <laughs> uh, we'll put one up here because we got some crew that'll be up here. There we go. We'll start spending money on slot twos uh, later when they come available. Ah, oh, we can't afford a dinghy yet. Dang it. Okay, well that's good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and get Galdor outfitted. That's our plane we'll be flying with right now. Really excited to get back into some uh, bomber crew. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Galdor, <laughs> you're about to go through a lot of changes. War changes a woman pretty drastically. <laughs> but, okay. Like I said, you, you think body change would actually be, you know, physical build, height, weight, that kind of thing. But nope. Body only changes the physical body. You only get two choices. So, if I remember all your settings, the the poof stash. And do you do you remember what color uh, type eyes you wanted? Or, for that matter, the mustache color? I'll go ahead and change this while you're uh, letting me know what you want. Eye color and... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I guess hairstyle doesn't really matter. 
skin color, I guess. Once again, anybody in chat who may be there that wants to join the bomber crew, let me know and I'll put you in here as well. Dark brown, okay. I'm not sure if you saw the very beginning of this episode, but I showed you and Sir Dan on the pedestal. Oops, I forgot to change that last part. It's more of a black. Uh, that's good, dark brown there. Yeah, I don't see an exactly a brown eye, except for these. So I'm guessing we're just going to go with uh, either, oh no, Noble's put me on the wing again, or, well, I'm used to this shit by now, kind of eyes. What do you think? Used to this shit, or oh no, he's going to put me on the wing again, eyes. Because you are going back on the wing. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. You're going back on the wing. That is your that is your standard starting point, Galzor. <laughs> The plane cannot take off without you che checking to make sure the wheels are still attached to the plane. We got some Kerbal level, uh... Use the noble shit? Okay, we're going with that. <laughs> that's, that's a man who's seen not just war, but seen a man who crashed a plane because he accidentally sent the pilot to the back of the plane. <laughs> uh... Alright. Everybody's got their presets, so let's look at what's available this time. Basic flight set and armored flight set, which looks kind of silly. Looks like more like a hazmat team. Do you want your uh, green jumper back on? It's a little warm out here. You're a lifeguard this time. I mean, once again, we're in the deserts. So I don't know if you really want a heat bonus, but then again, you know, flying high is going to be cold anyway. We got the thermal one. Basic khaki seems to do a little for speed, but other than that, not too much. Nah, it's about the same as the other one. You know what, I kind of wonder if this is all unlocked from our other playthrough, because we got a lot of this stuff still. There's that beautiful speed bonus. Anything else give a speed bonus? I'll get you some sunglasses. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we unlocked this at the last episode, so I'm starting to think we are only getting supplies and stuff that are connected to both games. Yes, you're even faster now. We need to keep you alive, Galdor. We're going to give you that vest. Get some fluffy gloves. Yeah, we are starting with 2,000, looks like, spy currency or something like that, which makes me think it's left over from the other game. But since it's a solid 2,000, I kind of feel like maybe this is just what you start at. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. It gives you the most air, and we need to keep you alive to keep other people alive. You're our uh, designated medic, after all. And once again, anybody who may be just joining us in the chat... Uh, if you'd like to be part of the crew, let me know. Hmm, the other pilot's cap's locked, so maybe... No, there it is. So I feel like we unlocked this also at the other one.
We're not giving everybody gear yet. We still got to keep some money on us. Pilot is also somebody I would really not like to have go unconscious due to lack of oxygen, so we're giving an air tank just just in case. Galdor and him are the only ones going to have air tanks right now. Oops, there we go, hitting the wrong button again. A little more on the other one? Okay, it just happens to be very close to it. Gotcha. All right, let's head off on our first mission. Ah, yes, taking on the Germans in the south. Oh, wow, um... I'm going to assume this is all water, so this... Is this supposed to be Italy? I kind of feel like this is supposed... No, okay, yeah, there's Italy. That's, um... Oh, shoot, I forgot the name of it. Okay. So, yeah, we're in North Africa, all right. Okay. <laughs> it, it was almost like a, uh, a Rorschach test where I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, is this Italy? Here's freaking the boot right here. I'm like, I think I see a boot here. <laughs> Oh, uh, idiot alert, idiot alert. <laughs> we found one, boys. Oh, my gosh. I can't remember the name of this island. I... Yeah, Italy is going to kick me. Uh, I remember whenever I play uh, Rome Total War, I'd always try to conquer this place. I just can't remember what the name of it is now. Shoot. Operation Torch has been a uh, fine success. Now we got to concentrate our food... Uh, foothold on North Africa. The enemy is holding uh, out uh, turns of stockpiling ammunition. Let's send up it in the smoke. Mm, yes. And then we'll go and see our fine women folk. And make lots of babies. <laughs> I just see the way the guys look. Mm, yes. Lots of babies. Lots of women. Uh, oh, yes. Hello, nurse. I'll see you later in my quarters. <laughs> it's like, sir, um, I think you got off track. No, I haven't. Oh, shit. You're all here. Yes, I have. All right. Begin the mission. Ah, <laughs> he's in the back like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh man, I am so glad we all have ammo feeders though. So I guess the other two front machine gunners are here in this position. Galdor, where are you? <laughs> where, where is, oh there's Galdor. <laughs> uh, so Cook's already in the belly gun. So we already have these four positions already taken. So basically from what I'm looking at, these two gun positions will be filled by him and uh, this one. So the two front machine guns in an emergency situation, I'll send Wagner and uh, Cork to uh, man them. So Cork literally has nothing to do but sit in the bomber seat right now. And Galdor is, is in his standard starting position. I just realized the top gun isn't occupied. I guess that's Galdor's position when he's not needed. Yes, yes, we'll put you on a navigation update while we're... Uh, sitting here talking before we take off. Look at them pretty bombs. All right, pilot. Let's take off. Galdor, I gotta know, is the wing still on? It's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, why? Why do you always make me do this? I'm not even an American. Why am I on this plane? Raise gear, because I actually remember it this time. And I noticed the back wheel goes up this time, too. It's not just the... Uh, the front wheel, as we're used to. Okay, Galdor. You don't have a uh, a fuel saver ability yet, so I'm just going to put you in the gun turret for now. Ah, yes. 900 with infinite ammunition. That's some beauty right there. Nope. We uh, need to go this way, apparently. A new spider spotted! Nope. Where is it? There it is. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, let's start the war right. Is that a biplane? I can't tell you, but that looks like a biplane from here. It is a biplane. Yeah, Lord, we shot down the black uh, Red Baron. <laughs> that's supposed to say the Black Baron, but that's not right. It's the Red Baron. Flying Fortress is living up to his name right now, for sure. Enemy fighter spotted? Where? The bombers are sitting there like, I am enjoying my view. Galdor! 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 
We need help! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, where'd that other plane go? Was it that one? Shoot, I can't find it. It's a biplane, guys! You should be able to find it! There we go. I saw another green blip. Where is it? There it is. Galdrum, back to the gun turret. Navigator, where are we anyway? Why are we flying through all that? It seems like a bad idea. It's like, hey, why don't we take you through the most direct route through all the gun emplacements? Um. Ah, there it is. I was about to say, I am not seeing a bombing target anywhere. Bombardier, do me a solid and open those beautiful doors. We're going to have to test out your theory that we had last time, Galdor, about the... Okay, we actually have less bombs than we did as the British plane, though. That is kind of cool, though. Prepare to release the load. I'm going to send this stockpile to hell, where it belongs. Ask Seth right there, I do tell you. Oh, there's the plane, or there's the objective. Photo op. Where's our photo op? Getting reports of enemy shipping. Galdor? Galdor, we need your help again. Hurry! <laughs> and bomber, uh... Yeah, go ahead and uh, shut that door. Um, I think Galdor just got shot in the foot. Oh wow, that that is a uh, that's a carrier. Um, bomber, get ready. Why the hell are we gonna fly over a carrier? This is a horrible idea. Explains why all the uh, planes are coming from though. Can we target them right now? No? I'm certain I saw a plane taking off. That's the plane I saw taking off. Where is it? There it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, back to the battlefield. I do like he's actually sitting in the ball turret this time. Oop. Come on, target him, target him! That's a lot of death bullets. Some more coming, I saw for a second on the screen. Where is it? Oh, that's where it is. Oh shoot, we got a more advanced plane now too. Okay, and we gotta go ahead and start heading towards home. Get those biplanes, they're just not gonna handle it. More advanced fighters down as well. Whew. Could have been a Messerschmitt, I don't know. Didn't get a good look at it. There. Yeah, you have to wait for that radar ping in the bottom right-hand corner to actually hit the planes, and then you can see where they are. I didn't learn that until, like, late... Oh my gosh, that's realized we're about to lose a tire. Look at that. 
uh, image of our plane. Our right tire is red. We, I think we're going to be landing on a flat, everybody. Um, good luck, everybody. Hope you survive. There. I have a funny feeling we're not going to have the um, benefit of uh, not being shot at on the way home like we did with England. With England, you'd be... Uh, well, maybe not. These guys don't seem to be coming back. Navigator! Okay, maybe it is. Maybe there's like a, a ring here that's like, hey, they don't get any closer than that. Is it injured crew? Yeah, Henry is wounded, but he's not dead, so that's good. I guess I could send Henry to uh, heal up a little bit since we're not in any danger. Wait a minute. I was about to say, yeah, let me get that landing gear down. As we learned last time, the plane won't land if you don't have the gear down. First successful mission. And why are you laying face first? Why aren't you laying back? You know what? You can do whatever you want, Henry. You got shot up a lot. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and get that forward gun positions as well. Because, uh... Ammo dump good. Freedom! Wait a minute, did I not get the money for the uh, photo? I don't see it at I don't see it added in here. Maybe I maybe I missed the photo. I'm certain no, it says I got the photo. Maybe I don't get paid for photos this time. Oh geez, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> With a seven person crew, it took a long time. Now with a nine person crew, it takes forever. Galdor, you got a boost and a lean? Ooh. Wow, they really are giving you a lot of stuff quickly in this one. You got boost and lean right out the door. Everybody got focus, too. Ooh, this is nice. Perform an emergency dive. Get a boost for speed. Conserve fuel. Radio location with upcoming hazards. That's going to be really useful, as we uh, found out recently at the end of the last episode. And more focus. Ooh, man, we are unlocking everything. They're not even holding back on the unlocks in this one. Uh, I don't think that's enough points for uh, the stuff I needed for the plane, though. Oh, it was a mandatory photo op. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. All right, Bombardier. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a gunner position because uh, your position is basically gunner slash bomber, so you need a machine gun for sure at this point. Galdor, let's see if we can't improve your suit a little bit. Where's my super suit? That puts you right back to 11, or back to 100%. So, I actually don't mind this. It'll keep you nice and toasty up in the high altitude and gives you a slightly higher survival skill. It just means you won't be super fast, you'll just be really fast. Or, normally fast. You gotta keep our Galdor alive. Anybody else in chat who may be there right now and wants to join the crew, let me know and I'll put you in the team, just like Galdor. Is there a more advanced service cap I can get? Doesn't look like it. There it is, Galdor. Our fingerless woolen gloves. That'll help out a lot for you. A little extra speed. Alright. 
Raise. We really are going to start getting some people some be uh, better uh, vests. Hmm. I think I'm going to skip because I really don't want to get under 4,000 for gear. Pilot's Cap Mark III. It's a lot of money. I think I'm going to skip that for now. Yeah, we got to get that uh, medium flak vest. So I think we're just going to go back to the aircraft and go ahead and get us our guns. Uh, we're probably going to need an upgraded engine before we do that, though. I'm, I'm betting our weight is just barely enough. I don't know if this is our current weight and this is what we have, uh, or like max and what we have, or what. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have enough for this yet. We're pretty close, but we'll need to work a little harder to get some more. There we go, even more guns. Merka! Uh, let's see. Yeah, we haven't even unlocked any bigger engines yet, so... And it looks like this went up, so I'm guessing that's our max weight, and this is our current weight, so... Alright! It's time to get us a, another flight. We'll keep the rest of the money for now, for uh, upgrading later. Okay, so... Patrol of the near the coast, uh, Algiers for the enemy activity. Photograph hostile uh, presence. Well, I'd rather have opportunity photos, thank you. Now our transport ship is coming under attack from this enemy torpedo boats. Defend the ship at all costs. Ooh, that sounds a little risky. I'm not exactly good at knocking out these submarines as we found out. Be located in the airfield in South uh, Sundara. Uh, put it out of action. Is that really what it's called? Sundara? Hmm. So that's enemy damage down. Nothing special, nothing special. So I think we'll go with this one for that next two missions of damage down. May go for that submarine after that because uh, if we knock the damage down, maybe that won't sink the planes as, or uh, boats as quickly. Or planes, we're in the plane, so. All right, Galdor, to your battle station. Clark. Take up a machine gun just to be on the safe side. You're not needed yet anyway. All right, everybody. Galdor's in his starting crew position. Making sure the wheels don't fall off as we take off. If they do, he'll scream a lot and jump off and roll. And then everybody else goes, oh! And does the same thing. It's a, it's a flawless system if you think about it. If the engineer jumps off the plane, everyone else needs to jump off the plane. That's just the basic understanding how the system works. <laughs> if Kaldor tucks and rolls, everybody bails out. Alright, pilot. Get that gear up. I remember. Alright, Galdor to the machine gun. Hmm. I really want to put Wrangler on the machine gun, but I really need him running that radio right now. And that's why we don't want to take you off yet, because you're our navigator. Kind of need you to find out where we're going. We'll get under attack, then we can switch you out real quick and have you shoot at some enemies, but right now we're good. Actually, we can fast forward a little bit, so let's use that. Alright, we've run out of our mandatory flight high speed zone. Yeah, that's the only problem about going higher altitude. You just had to start running the cloud cover, which blocks your view. 
Enemy fighters, huh? Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's war we are going to. Galdor, get it to him. Cut him down. I see flak. Ah, boats. Oh, there it is. Galdor! Galdor, we have a problem. Luckily, it's directly beneath you. Clark, get back on the bombing. Um, what happened to my bomber? There we go. Oh dear. Uh, I don't have time. Where, where, where's my bomb site? Did I literally just fly over my bomb site? Ah, crap. Alright, we're going to hit this first, then we're going to uh, spin back around. I, I wasn't looking when it passed by. Photo taken. We'll spin back around once we get these guys marked. That's a bomber! Or an attack bomber. Anybody else? Who wanted some? I say again, who wanted some? There we go. Bomber, get ready again. That plane underneath this isn't marked. That's not good. I forgot to open the damn top bomb bay doors! <laughs> okay, guys. Um, the captain is a failure. Uh, well, the commander, me, is the failure. Let's try that again. Bombay doors are definitely open. We're definitely on fire. Galdor, um... Could you do me a favor and, uh, where are you anyway? There you are. Um... Fire extinguisher, please. I missed! I missed! Oh, the engine fell off. Um, Galdor, don't worry about it. The engine fell off. Um, get back to the gun. Oh, wow, you're in bad shape. Uh, yeah, get right there. Let's arm two sets of bombs this time. Because clearly I screwed up. There we go, we got it this time. Whoo! Galdor, new problem, electrical system. Which means all the machine guns aren't working, I think. Back on the gun position. Um, I hear planes. 
Oh jeez, I see planes. Literally, I see planes. At least those 50 cals aren't uh, electronically controlled, so they can still use. Got a lot of fighting ahead of us here. I can see the uh, this version of Bomber Crew gives you a lot more to fight. Because we're still in the early game right now. We're not even in the mid or late game. Oh, jeez. Galdor, save Henry. Wait, he's back here. Grab that. Oh, jeez. We're losing people all over the place. Yaldor, don't die, damn it! Yaldor, get to that. Henry, get back on your gun position. It's up to you, Yaldor. You gotta save Henry. No, wrong person. Yaldor, save Henry. Or Anderson. Henry, stay there. Dear, where's that plane? So we're down to two engines. Well, there's our airfield right there. Woo! Man, that was a lot more intense, and we left the bomb bay door open. You could close those doors, please. Um, Galdor, could you do me a favor and pick up that medicine, please? No, pick up the medicine, heal him. No, gosh. There we go, thank you. Anderson has 25 seconds to live. And we're not doing much better. Galdor, fix that, please. Ooh. <laughs> Man, this was a bit of a thing. Yeah, okay, we lost both engines and the midsection is considered destroyed. So that's a thing. Galdor, it's going to be risky, but do you think you can fix that wing while we're landing a plane? That's Anderson. I said Galdor. He's our mechanic and our legend. Galdor, get on the wing! It, yeah, it, it should have been cut in half by now. Galdor's out there fixing a wing while it's flying and landing. He's just trying to help out the mechanics uh, who are going to fix this plane on the ground. He's still working hard. Huzzah! Yeah, I can understand why they made it B-17 for these missions because... Uh, <laughs> I don't think the uh, standard Liberator type planes are going to be able to survive such a uh, thing as this. There's our money for the photo, thank goodness. See, so yeah, we got 5,000. We can start affording some good stuff now. In reality, the bombers got shot down a lot. This game makes it seem a lot more fun than it really is. But, uh, yeah, it was a serious thing to be a bomber crew back in the day. Chance of death was extremely high. I want to say it was 20 missions, and after 20 missions, you were able to go home as a hero. And I want to say that it's like 1% or something like that. It's a ridiculously low of pilots and crews that actually made the 20 missions and got to go home. 
Like, you know, if you're on your 15th mission, you're sitting there, you know, thinking, oh, crap, it's coming. We're not going to get it to 20. We're not going to get to 20, you know, kind of thing. And probably that mindset by itself put the people in a bad position where they would end up being in worse shape. Yeah, Galdor, you are a great engineer. <laughs> you are the reason the plane is still able to fly, even though it was cut in half, basically. And once again, if anybody out there in the chat would like to drop a comment in the uh, Twitch uh, comment section, let me know what your name is, what crew position you want to run. Everything's open but uh, engineer right now. And we'll go ahead and drop you in. All right, so we've got mid-altitude mid photo for uh, the bombardier. Trust me, I'm an engineer. My name's Galdor, and I keep the things flying. <laughs> With epic skills and epic gear. Place customized navigation. Good, we got that now. Corkscrew. Galdor, we need you on the wing to test something out. And I think we have enough points for the uh, upgrades of the uh, stuff. Yeah, look at all this good stuff. Survival dinghy. Oh, good. We got some upgrades to our survival slots and uh, systems. After seeing what happened, everybody getting shot to pieces in the plane, I think we need to make sure we get that uh, additional uh, survival kits on the plane, too. So we're going to skip crew gear for right now. We're just going for the plane. Looks like that's a P-51 Mustang. So I guess that's our uh, escort planes later on when we get that unlocked. Uh, yeah, mid-front. Yeah, we need 5,000 for three slot. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to go medical kit and medical kit. Galdor, you're getting a parachute. <laughs> Got to keep you alive, buddy. Um, medical kit and keep that medical kit. We need a lot of medical kits. Uh, can't upgrade engines yet. Still only have the basic stuff. Inflatable dinghy. Let's hold off on that and see if we can't get, uh... Extinguishers, yeah. Yeah, we need to uh, try to increase our chance of survival. We don't have the bird though. I don't, I don't see the bird available yet. Yeah, a little bit too pricey right now. Extra thirty-three damage though. Yeah, no basic paint yet. We got nose art wise. Runner duck. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go back to our tiger. So I do kind of like the yellow uh, checker look. Keep that for right now because we're a number one. A lot of guns. We got a whole lot of guns and a whole lot of time to get there. But I want my dang cat bus. Oh well. We can't always get what we want. Galdor looking like a true uh, battle master over there. But yeah, if you want to be in the uh, game, let me know and I'll drop you in. Uh, let's see. Got new headgear. Helmet Mark II, which makes you look like a weird elephant right now. <laughs> Galdor the Elephant Man. Thermal Mittens. That takes a lot off on speed. Now, we can't risk that. God, it's too cool for that. A f no, new full preset. Hmm. You know what? 
I might have to take you up on this offer. Advanced op radio op set. Because, uh, trying to keep the radio operator alive, just like Galvar, might be a good idea. Alright. So, we haven't lost a plane yet, which is great. Though, <laughs> this last mission kind of made me think, uh, are we really going to make it? Wow, there's only four aces this time. That last board had a buttload. Frederick Flickel, Melvin Moe. Troll the coast near now, for enemy activity. Photograph any hostile presence. Mm, no. Our transport ship is under attack from any torpedo bloats. Defend the ship at all costs. Now, we took the reduction in damage, so hopefully it'll keep the... Uh, Transport ships alive a little longer, too. That's why I went ahead and did that other one first. Glorious day in the USA. Prepare for battle, Galdor, to your station. All right. Pilot? If you'd be so kind as to take us off. Galdor, scream a lot if the wheels fall off. <laughs> Did you say the wheels fell off? No! Take that oxygen mask off when you're talking to me, dammit. I can't hear you what you're saying. <laughs> oh, you're just scared of being on the wing. Gotcha. That's understandable. Quite commendable, actually. All right. Radio operator, run us a radio for recon real quick. I want to see what we're dealing with. We're probably too close to shore right now. We're probably not going to get anything. Yeah, I think I ran a little early. We weren't even out of t uh, friendly territory yet. Yeah, we still got some time. So I ran it just a little bit on the early side. Enemy fight is sighted. Everyone get ready for battle. It's a solid point game. Everybody focus on uh, attacks for now. And bomber, you're not really needed at the bombing position yet, so why don't you get on that machine gun? Where was it? I saw it for a second. Radar, show me. Over here? Gotcha. Hey, uh, Bomber, I need you back in your position real quick. Did it go underwater again? Son of a... Man, U-boats are the hardest thing to shoot or bomb or photograph. There he is. He's coming back up. Get ready to take the photo. Radio for recon again. Gotta save those boys in blue. The Navy is getting peffled with uh, peripherations from the uh, uh, torpedoes. Eh, nothing still. I guess we're still over the water, so not much to see yet. Enemy fighter spotted, you say? See that third one there.
keep those bomb bay doors open. We gotta start looking for baddies. Oh, these aren't actual submarines. They're actually uh, surface boats. This will be a little easier than I thought. I thought they were going to be submarines. Another, another one spotted. I can see we got some planes behind us too. Get ready, she's about to fire on our boat. Where was it? I saw the marker. I gotta keep my eyes up. That's not good. My camera's too close. I can't figure out where they're going yet. There we go. Any more boats yet? We have one more enemy boat, but I don't see it yet on the map. Radio for recon, please. Come on, we gotta find that other thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the plane will be fine. H have a happy nom there, Galdor. I actually, that's a torpedo to just hit the boat. I just watched a torpedo hit the boat, so we're way far away. We can't even see the enemy that's attacking it. That's a not good. I'm flying over here thinking that's where the enemy's uh, going to be coming from. We actually may not make it in time. They've been hit by a couple torpedoes. Oh shit, they are right on top of them too. Galdor. I'm so glad we took that reduction to damage because looks like we're going to need it for the survival of that boat. About to fire another torpedo. Oh dear, that boat is in bad shape. We may only get one pass over it. Thank goodness. Woo! Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh shoot, they're in front of us. Bomber, get on that gun. Radio operator, get on that gun. Radio, your uh, map. I don't think we found a uh, target to uh, photograph either this episode. Highly unfortunate. Oh, I clicked off screen. Hopefully, I didn't uh, crash. No, I didn't. Good. That was highly risky, I say. Highly risky. First time I clicked off screen on accident as well. Lower the landing gear. And Bombardier, um, you do me a favor. Uh, get back to your station and close that bomb bay door. We've been running with that thing open for a little bit.
Galdor, we didn't actually have to worry about any mechanical problems aside that one little one in the beginning. I know you're probably still getting your dinner together, but you did a great job, even though you weren't here. We're coming in for a landing, everybody. Stay strong. America! I'll run this episode a little longer until Galdor gets back, but I'll probably switch over to Broforce here very soon. Maybe the next 30 minutes or so. Let's see what Galdor has to say, and we'll make that switch over. Ah, oh, you are here. Good. So how about, Galdor, uh, you want to switch over now, or do you want to wait a little bit before we... Uh... Okay, you're eating, so, uh, yeah, do you want to wait maybe 30 minutes and go over to Broforce? You want to wait maybe an hour? What would you like to do before we switch over? Got ourselves a decent bit of money, nothing special. And we didn't get our recon photo, unfortunately. Wait, no, we did get our recon photo, we just didn't get paid for it. I forgot it was a submarine. Man, everybody's just leveling up super fast. I think this crew is actually more experienced now than our uh, flight crew that we played for for three hours in the other British episode. Stephen Clark finally got his uh, focus ability. Once again, for anybody who's in the chat, if you'd like to be part of the Bomber crew, let me know in the comments section what your name is and what uh, crew position you'd like. The only one that's occupied is the Engineer with Galdor. Three thousand points, so uh, we're probably going to get a bit more gear now. Yep. Ooh wee, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Ah, we finally got some upgrades to our systems, too. Galdor won't have to run around as much repairing things. As often, that is. Uh, let's see. We got new headgear and stuff, too. Oh, wow. Plus 44, that's pretty good, but you're losing all this other stuff. I don't know if I'd be willing to risk that. Ooh. Well, 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 another 10 speed on top of everything else. I think we'll take that for you there. Galdo has got to go fast. Got to go faster, faster, faster. Well, these actually increase speed. Lighter shoes allowing faster movement. Plimsolls. Ah, but it takes away your armor. Man, I don't know if I really want to risk that, but... You gotta keep you moving fast. So you got your oxygen bottle. It does give you speed, but I'd rather keep you at 161 percent speed. You're basically a sprinter at this point. You're you're uh, maybe not Usain Bolt, but you're up there, Galdor. You're a fast runner. Hmm, not too bad. I'd prefer if he had uh, if he had his uh, additional armor, but maybe we'll skip that for now. Let's see about getting the uh, pilot some armor. Still can't get the medium flak vest, so might skip out on it for now. 
Got some training available. Ooh, wow, a lot of people got training available. Galdor included. All right, Galdor, uh... I normally make you the medic, but honestly, you got a machine gun in place that you gotta use now, so I kinda wanna put you as a gunner. But we need a medic, so we're gonna make you a medic. Somebody's gotta be the medic. It might as well be Galdor, right? Uh, navigator, you gotta be a gunner, because that's your secondary job. Got that front nose gun. You're an engineer as well. Oh, no, no, I mean you're a gunner as well. You're already a gunner, so we'll make you a first aid man. Uh, let's see. What position are you in? I wish I knew which uh, gun you had. Because I need somebody at the back of the plane that knows how to mechanically operate the equipment. I'll just take Anderson for right now, make them the mechanic. Everybody else is going to be first aid. Keep each other alive back there, alright soldiers? We'll probably get one more, maybe two missions out before we uh, switch over to Broforce, maybe. Uh, nose art, what we got now? Just another custom and curve digital. <laughs> Tigers and the yellow uh, checker are my favorite so far on this plane. Nah. Nah. We'll keep what we got on that sense. There we go. We can finally upgrade to a better engine. I think we'll do lightweight engines on the inside. I think we'll use standard engines on the outside. Because these uh, these here are actually too heavy. If you notice, the armored ones actually take down your weight. It doesn't actually increase it like all the others do. 3,000 though. Man, that is a pricey increase. So let's just work on our electrical systems and whatnot. Oh, dang, that is way too expensive. I was about to say, yeah, we'll click that. Nope. 2000 for that one. Ooh. We can afford extinguishers level 2, though. So, the bare minimum, that's what we're taking. The oxygen level 2 is also available. Ooh, that's another one we kind of need. You don't get extra fuel, but apparently it does increase the armor and prevents leaking, so. And what about survival? We got our bird yet? Nope, just dinghies. Alright, I think we're going to do that. Uh, I really do need to get better at this, though. Uh... Go with this Mark II extinguishers. Really important to get those uh, engines fire out. All right. Yep, always hitting the wrong button. Ah, so that's the primary mission. This thing right here that'll push us forward on our story. Receive reports that there's enemy uh, flagship aircraft carrier is heading towards uh, support the troops in Libya. Uh, scramble the supporting and or attacking battleships. This is a critical mission, though. There's an ace in the mission area as well. So, let's check this one out. The ace is also on this one. Patrol it close near the uh, Algiers with any activity. Photograph any hostile presence. You know what? We kind of needed that uh, two missions damage reduction for that one, but if we could shoot down the ace, that'll be better here. 
because this seems like an area that we want to get rid of the ace before that major fight. Okay. Galdon to your position. We'll do this while we're waiting on Galdor to get to his starting position. Pilot, if you will, take off. And Galdor's done eating. I hope it was a good meal. Raise gear. No, no raise gear. Okay, we're good. Enemy ace uh, pilot Frederick is inactive in the area. Okay. Navigation, no breathing. New heading found. We'll radio for recon right now just to see if we can get anything, because by the time we get out here, we'll probably have a uh, new radio for recon. Something went wrong in our O2. Galdor, fix our air. Marked a new heading. Oh. Okay, Gunner, um, quickly get to your spot. Now, there are several boats. Probably won't be ready for the next one. Get ready, everybody. This is just a recon anyway. I don't expect we're going to get any special recon options. Give us a second to get a little further out before we uh, attempt to do this one. We're not getting any enemy fighters yet, so... There we go. Oh, there's the enemy fighters. Come on, radar, show me where they are. There. Now, we could make a run back for uh, shore, but then we got this guy. Ooh, we even got a custom music, too. Alright, everybody. I need you to start getting to your gun positions. Everybody on guns. Galdor, that includes you. Where is this guy at? There he is. Alright everybody, I need you all to focus fire and cut this guy down. I want him bleeding out of his eyeballs. We don't even care about going home yet. Oh no, what we do care about is Galdor getting on that uh, mechanical electrical problem. Run Galdor, run! You're the fastest man on the airplane! Nope, dang it, bomber, do not get on that. Navigator, get on that. Time to raise the stakes. Does anyone know where that dang uh, guy went? I feel like we went really far out of the way. Oh yeah, we're almost to Europe. 
I think we were well outside his fighting range. That's why we don't see him anymore. Oh, jeez. Everybody focus on this bastard. Focus, 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 focus. I want him dead. Mind you, my uh, firepower probably isn't good enough to kill him. I probably need to upgrade my guns two or three times before we'll actually be able to do any heavy damage. Well, we're hitting him at least. Goodness. We're like a flying fly swatter. Okay, navigator, where are we? Yeah, I think we're gonna take this guy out, even with Galdor! 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 I forgot to put you back on the gun position as well. I think I had you focus fire while still inside the belly of the plane. Oh, we're back to the boats, okay. Oh, jeez, he's down. Who's my medic uh, secondary skill? Doesn't matter, get over there and help him. Everybody else just focus on firing right now. Henry, focus. We need to get back out to the boat. Where's the uh, navigator? Where's our custom heading? This way. We can't let the uh, fight in just because we're back over friendly shores. Where you at, Ace? No, it's not over. He's not... Oh, God, he left, didn't he? Shit. Oh, that sucks. We were so close to killing him, too. Dang it. Oh, man. We failed. We got too close to... Yeah, we got too close. Oh, that sucks. Henry, go take a nap. Everyone else take antidepressants. Galdor, grab a parachute. <laughs> Galdor, what are you doing on the wing with a parachute? What possibly madness could you have done? Pilot, take us up to uh, medium altitude. Galdor, bail out. <laughs> Galdor, no! <laughs> Galdor's just parachuting down over Africa. <laughs> oh, that was great. I want Galdor to be a paratrooper as well. That's his new skill that I'm giving him as paratrooper. Galdor is the wingman on uh, the takeoff and a paratrooper at the end. <laughs> yeah, you quit. Bye-bye. You're like, I'm done with this crazy crew. Hmm. There you are. You're still going down. Bye, Galdor. 
<laughs> the problem is you're gonna have to send a. Uh, you're either gonna have to hike back with your high speed uh, legs, or you're gonna have to uh, have a. Uh, maybe it's a good thing we got you out of the plane. They're coming down at a kind of a steep angle here. Okay. But yeah, you made it fine. Huzzah! <laughs> you gotta get your hiking skill in or we're gonna send a jeep for you or something. No! We're gonna have to upgrade our guns. These guns just aren't doing enough damage to kill them as easily as I'd hoped. Ooh, three photos, but no money. Sad. If we upgrade one of our guns, it has to be the tail gun, because he gets the most action out of all of them. We also need to get the tail gun or better armor, because he's the one that ends up going down the most. And Galdor's like, Dag nabbit, son of a gun. Luis Anderson, which one were they? Watch them be in the front of the plane, not the back. Oh, we finally got our uh, homing pigeon. Nice. Aluminum with red trim. So, Galdor, how you feeling? You ready for uh, Bro Force yet, or we want to wait a little longer? You know what, I may want to wait for this one, for that tail gun position. Because having that uh, 50 cal might be better off than going to uh, 303. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit better, but I'm betting you this is probably an extra 50 damage. So I might just want to save the money for that. Gotta get our freaking homing pigeon. <laughs> you have every skill and you're ready. Okay. So. I think that'll be... I'll put us on pause for a few minutes for the stream. I'll go ahead and back out of this real quick. Back to main menu. Save and quit. So we can show off what you may have missed in the beginning. So we got Galdor right here. Now, this is the American crew, I think, because, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, this is the American crew. The British crew had Sir Dan in it, but, uh, you know, since we're just did the American flight, he's not in this one. But yeah, in the future, uh, streams and, uh, recordings, if you want to be part of the crew, let me know and I'll add you to the roster. So you can have your name and character on the thing. But anyway, I'm gonna switch over real quick to, uh, break time. Get a little music going, and uh, I'll go ahead and quit out of this game, I mute myself, and see if Galdor can help me get things set up so we can start Broforce. So give us about five minutes or so.